I welcome you all to the presentation of SmartNet. I am Ismail representing Hidden Brains. So in the next 10-15 uh, minutes, I will be discussing a few things about SmartNet, a very good product from our company and uh, a few points of agenda are here. So a uh, introduction of our, our company is we are a ISO 9001 certified company and we won the quality commitment award from Paris in 2010, of course Microsoft certified and we have presence in almost uh, three-fourths of the world. Yeah, this is a basic uh, thing about smart net. What you can see here is lot of things have been put on the mobile phone. So it portrays that many things can be controlled from the mobile. That is the only thing what this uh, slide is conveying. I'll come to what exactly is the smart net. So by definition, smart net is a wireless automation systems network so it is a network by itself as you have various networks available to this day 3g network is there 4g network is there earlier we had uh, you know some other networks so it is a network by itself it boots up very fast within 20 milliseconds and then it invites other devices which are pre-registered with it to control them so SmartNet uh, works as a master of all these devices. So here is the slide which shows this. Once the SmartNet boots up, it works with a wireless uh, network, particularly as Wi-Fi is very common, we are using Wi-Fi here. And then it invites other devices which are working on various operating systems like uh, Android, or Symbian, Windows Mobile, and uh, RIM OS, iPhone, iOS, all these devices it invites all of them to connect to it and then from those devices you can control all appliances it can be home appliances office appliances office devices enterprises factory or uh, anything which has got electronics and electrical built into it can be controlled not only controlling you can also get the measurement parameters like what is the current flowing, what is the wattage, what is the energy being consumed and uh, uh, you know you can aggregate the data over a period of time and of course you can generate reports thereby enabling savings lot of uh, energy and money savings for the uh, you know domestic consumers, industrial consumers. So I have a, a small a very small plug and play demo here. Uh, we have the device connected, SmartNet is up on that board, green board, what you can see on the right side. And as I was telling, we can control it from the mobile. I have a mobile here, which is the iPhone. I think cameraman can focus on this. And uh, we have connected uh, two lamps there. So, I would like to, as a small demo, I would like to switch on one of them. Yeah, it is one of them is on, you can see that. I am doing it from the mobile and the network is up there and it is directly connecting it. And again, again, switch it off. Yes, it is off. So it is the very smallest demo what I can show it here live. In fact, any electrical device, any electronic appliance, including your uh, TV, VCR, anything can be controlled by using our smart net. And even for the industries, uh, we have solutions, automation solutions for that. And not just uh, controlling as uh, we discussed, uh, you can measure all the parameters, current, uh, wattage, and uh, you can generate reports and you can even generate the savings every you know uh, month or every by yearly something like that so coming to the slides applications of smart net of course homes and offices automation can be done industrial automation it is of course uh, we are implementing solutions on this entire process can be automated and it is highly secured 
in the sense we are using the best of the encryption authentication and transmission secured protocols like say we are using aes encryption rsa encryption oauth for uh, you know authentication and ssl for sending and receiving the data so uh, we are using the latest technology for security of the you know control signals what uh, being sent and the data what is being received and innovative aspects of uh, smartnet or it works on uh, real time hardware and real time operating system so real time hardware is there and real time operating system as you are all aware it boots up very fast and it has got very good uh, high speed response and interplatency is very less uh, you have a lot of advantages on autos so we have put autos on it uh, of course it is plug and play as you can see we have connected the market uh, off the shelf available lamps to the device and we are controlling and off the shelf available uh, you know iphones of course you can do it from android phones blackberries yeah, anywhere wherever the uh, software can be installed you can do it of course laptops and desktops also so we are using all off the shelf components to you know uh, develop a plug and play device and an innovative solution is being developed from that and it is indigenously built we are ahmedabad based company of course we are present uh, in many places in the world but all the r and d is done in our company and uh, we are it is a indigenously built solution and it uses a innovative sensor network architecture we are of course using sensors from some of the best companies available and uh, innovative sensors uh, have been employed in this to get the data from the various parameters of the appliances and devices and uh, any automation system and it is compatible with all available networks and operating systems tell the network it, we have implemented the compatibility with that 3g 4g wimax uh, wifi zigbee any network you have it is compatible with that and of course almost all the operating systems ios rim os and uh, uh, android any other up desktop operating systems also we are compatible with that and it is simple very simple the entire control measurement aggregate and you know savings technology is you know brought to the user on their palm top or you know on their hand using the smartphones and wireless devices which they carry everywhere it is very simple to use that's it and directly involves the consumers at pass participants in the energy saving basically say what happens is the consumer will switch on some device on some appliances and forget it and finally he gets the bill only after the month he doesn't know what is happening when he switched on and uh, you know uh, what happened after he switched on but uh, whereas in our solution he will know what is happening after it has been switched on how much of you know energy is being consumed and thereby he will know uh, where to save and how to save he can definitely uh, take some actions on that of course it has got a huge market automation uh, industry has got a huge market by 2011 only home automation solutions have a market of 30 uh, 5000 million dollars and of course our product results in you know cost effective you know solutions and it returns a very quick roi say for example once you go with our product within you know 3 months you can get the benefits and savings from it so it returns a quick ROI, it is a very beneficial thing for, of course, uh, house owners, uh, building owners, apartments, industries, uh, everywhere. It is scalable to applications in ma market as uh, power generation. Basically, say, in huge uh, societies and apartments, they are going to have their own DG or solar power plant. Our automation network can be used to completely control that and automate that. And of course, uh, uh, social impact is there, it is environmentally friendly, as I said, it is very secure, it saves a lot of money, it generates a new uh, wireless world by itself and resulting in cleaner and cleaner, greener environment. Of course, you can, you know, contribute to, you know, save something uh, when it comes to, you know, global warming is there. Okay, interoperability, it is, uh, of course, uh, operates on various networks as we discussed and of course it is compatible with almost all the handled you know operating systems which run on various devices and it is web based so you can use it anywhere wherever there is a uh, internet available and sustainability of the product is such that basically since it is open standard we are of course using some open source also and we are using the international standards 
so it is sustainable that it cannot be you know outdated by you know uh, if some product goes out of the market or somewhere you know uh, some standard is outdated it's a modular architecture so other things can be easily integrated to it and of course we are using various latest uh, standards as you can see the standards here and it is built with off the shelf components whatever is available in the market easily with that it is built so it is very sustainable yeah i request jury members if you like my presentation can ask me some questions yeah please tell me sir yes yes zigbee is a part of it wifi is a part of it and of course 3g 4g all the standard communication data communication protocols are part of it and it is compatible with that and we are giving a exclusive control channel the most of the networks what we have today is only data and communication right. but we are adding a exclusive control channel wherein you can control any appliance any device and even the industrial devices and automated things from our solution so you basically doing the living room entertainment system with yes. upnp with yes yes and play. yes all okay. the entertainment systems uh, are also programmed and you can control all you know say your set top box tv also from your iphone ipad and android based can you explain phones. some deployments how many uh, homes do you have already set up uh, so far uh, we have not deployed it at any customers place but we have already got the project and work is going on and within 3 months uh, a product version of it is going to be launched that is the uh, marketing strategy we have and uh, recently we also happened to you know showcase this product in uh, barcelona in uh, world mobile congress and we have received very good appreciation from including the apple representative itself came and uh, he was appreciating our team and uh, you know it was a very good thing yeah, please go ahead if there is any question <laughs> yes sir please tell me how oh. the two devices communicate with each other is it through the cellular net or uh, see and is it whether the in in uh, control technology whether if the communication is similar to master to slave slave to master that type or is it similar to subscriber to subscriber and back that type yes yes so and whether it requires a sim here and a sim there please explain yes yes that's right a very good question uh, as you can see on our slide uh, please focus on the slide excuse me gentlemen show the slide so uh, here what happens is once the smart net is up the first priority is it will make use of wifi network so approximately 30 meters range it will use wifi and if the devices of uh, devices are out of its range it will make use of other data networks like 3g 4g you have wimax cdma whatever is available and it is compatible with all these networks and of course uh, for a connectivity with uh, uh, you know with that kind of network of course you need a identification that is nothing but sim card is there that is required and our device has got its own identity which the devices can easily communicate with or is it yes 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 it? yes initially it is taken as master as slave and when the number of uh, devices uh, go it depends on the priority of the devices also and uh, with uh, the smallest version of smart net you can control 256 devices over uh, wifi and uh, other data networks and it includes not only the home uh, home appliances and home entertainment systems but also the uh, industry appliances and we also generate reports uh, there is a module in our network uh, application which generates reports of bi weekly or once in a month once in 3 months wherein it can show that so much of energy has been saved over a period of time like that okay now coming to the software state you know in control engineering yes when there is a communication between master and slave yes. there is a concept of fail safe principle that means a communication from slave to master may may not fail yes but a communication from master to slave uh, cannot command fail command from master to slave 
should be on the fail safe principle yes has that been achieved yes yes the so, um, smart net when the devices connect to the smart net they are all slaves to the smart net so it is the master of the everything like say as you have in 3g the switch is the master and all uh, your handheld devices are slaves for it like that a smart net has got the mastery over all the devices and it can control anything and if there is some problem found because of security reasons it will disconnect the device that is there that master control is there in that built in and that is why we are using a real time system multi core processor and real time operating system yes 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 it is it is fail safe yeah normally when there is a issue with the device our master the smart net will disconnect the device so it has got a mastery over all the devices which are connected and it will give you a report why it has been disconnected when it has been disconnected when it was again found operational you can get all the data um would there be a high cost to set up your home to use smart net or will it be something that's accessible for most people for example if i wanted to now make my home compatible with smart net you want to control your home by yes. smart net yeah what well, would it be something that cost wise is accessible yeah it is uh, i say it is indigenous technology so it is born and brought up in india it is very cost effective particularly for indians and uh, the product will be you know launched uh, and you know marketed here so particularly for indians it will be very cost effective whereas some companies who are already doing like uh, cisco control for and uh, you know there are two three companies the cost is very high compared to us and costings of course our business development team and you know management will decide i don't have the costing figures right now it is you know uh, uh, it will be very cost effective Uh, for indian homes that much i can tell and we have to bring it first to the indian consumer that is our target and it will be affordable by indian consumers that is our intention thank you i cannot give the exact figure because uh, things are working on it but i will make sure that you know any middle class or lower middle class person can use it in their homes